When I write ya All across the USC, Compton, Watts Bay to LA From on to California From valley to valley We represent that killer county So if you keeping it real on your side of your town You tune in to Gangsta Chronicles Gangsta Chronicles We gon' tell you how it goes uh, If I lie, my nose will grow like Pinocchio We gon' tell you the truth and nothing but the truth Ooh. Gangsta Chronicles This is not your average show You're now tuned in to the real MCA, Big James, and Big Steel This is strictly from the streets Hello The, the longer I went on in the music business, I was able to learn contracts and publishing and right. splits and all that. And no, when a nigga put a contract in my face, I can go now. Oh, hell no. Nah. Oh, hell no. Nah. Oh, hell no. Nah. You can keep that right there. Right. Let me know when you get back with me with something proper. Yeah. But but it was, a, it was a learning experience. Like I said, I got fucked when I signed a deal because... I just want to be a rapper. And then when the deal turned into a major deal, I got fucked again because I wanted to sign to Sony Music. Did I know a motherfucker was crooked? Hell yeah. Nigga, you been crooked. You ain't gonna change. But that was my opportunity to get in. Once I got in, now I could start going to them motherfuckers and going, him? Hell no. Nah. You want me to do another record? Kick that motherfucker to the side, or I ain't recording shit. And by that time, they want MCA records. Right. Fuck him. He anybody. So they ain't got rid of him. Bye. What you want to do, eight? Oh, yeah, I need this. I need this. I need that. Oh, no problem. Here you go. Brand new contract restructure. So you have to build that rapport with a motherfucker. Once I got in... And I start seeing niggas at the label and handshaking and woonty woom. I was able to go, oh no, this nigga stole publishing money from me. This nigga stole this and this. You don't get rid of him and structure a new deal, you won't get another verse from me. Because I'm going to tell you what they did. They wanted to ship, ship him off and got his ass up out the way. And you want to deal with me. Yeah. Motherfucker, I'm oh, coming see, off the of The top was already cricket, though. Mm -hmm. The top was dealing with him, then kicked him out. For, the top was already cricket there. He already knew right. that. But, but here's the worst thing in the world. Today's business, those are still be the money you're talking about. Even when you're getting ripped off, it's way more beautiful than today. Today's so fucking worthless. You could have the greatest deal from God Himself and come and go, and you still ain't gonna make no money. These new artists are broke. Look, at, um, my one of my artists got his own little deal, okay, through Empire, mm -hmm. eighty-seven million streams. Guess how much money that was? How much do you think? That ain't no money. Seven thousand dollars on me. That's what I'm saying. That's not even a penny. If you got a penny, that would be seven hundred thousand mm -hmm. dollars. Seven thousand dollars. So, so because those deals only work unless you in their back pocket. Those deals only work is if you're considered somebody who they could generate income off. Well, you Eighty-seven know? million. You know how much Facebook man? I was, I was on Facebook. Facebook paying stream now. But what? like you said. Who is he as an artist? Oh, he's an artist. Is he somebody? No, no, it's cool. Okay, so there but, you go. But guess how much Facebook made? Eighty-seven million. It's a dollar a click. They got they got two commercials on that motherfucker. Commercial here, and commercial on the side. That's. Hey, let me. If, if you go buy ads right now to promote your yeah. show on Facebook, it's basically a dollar a click. Yeah, I want to ask you something. I want to go back, man, real quick. <laughs> Good, but we had to have you back again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotta get more. I gotta come and I'll bring someone to dry me and come get faded. Yeah, because I, I, yeah, I want to ask you a question because I don't heard some crazy shit about y'all on the road. Not about shooters. I don't know why you sitting out there. But, no, but I, I used to shoot porn and everything. Man, okay. I, 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 I want to go into that, all that shit. But I had my yeah, office. Next time. Fans, yeah. <laughs> These motherfuckers are nasty, nigga. <laughs> 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 What's the craziest shit you ever seen on the road with the bras, man? Man. Um, dudes come and ask us to fuck their wives in front of them. Are you serious? MCA knows that. <laughs> I ain't never got none of that. <laughs> Don't put me in that <laughs> shit. On his I'm first good, deal. I'm a good dude. <laughs> On his first deal. <laughs> so the motherfucker come to you and say, hey, can you knock my wife down? Yeah, they come, man. They come and hit all the artists of them. Fans ask you to do some tremendous stuff. Somebody actually... I seen crazy shit where like we'd be in small towns like... 
two some where the you know the hotels are not big, so there are only two stories. You know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. So we we stick putting us up there, <clears throat> and dudes pull up because we always throw posters out. We perform with, uh, we always throw a gang of shit out. So dudes go, hey, can you sign my girl's poster? Oh yeah, homie. Girl come up, dude sitting in the car talking us in the balcony. Dude start sucking everyone up. Pop pop pop. Oh she gonna be down right now, homie. Go 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 go. You know, crazy shit like that, homie. And the motherfucker in the car don't got a clue. No clue. So she going to kiss him in his That's why I knew. That, yeah, that, that's why I knew girls were worse than any guy in the world. I mean, the guys can't, the guys can't ever even fuck half of girls go I mean, fuck. I heard a I'm, story. I'm not going to say the homie's name out of respect. You know, I ain't going to do that. But I heard one time a girl was getting a train pulled on her, and she had kind of like an odor to her, or a, you know, puss odor, right? And I heard that everybody, you know, was like, oh, no, she stank. A couple dudes like she stank. I heard one of the homies came in and got a towel and wiped her off. This nigga, this nigga crazy as a motherfucker. It, it was an old legend. It was an uh, it was an old legend kind of rapper who said, "Royal, throw me a towel." <laughs> <laughs> he said, "Get a soap." He said, "Get a bar of soap and a towel." And we 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 started laughing when we fell down. We we fell on the ground. I mean, just take laugh. a deep breath and just get the fuck out. <laughs> so. <laughs> Man, you know what? You wanted to, um... No, like, like, see, I didn't know we were going to do it. You, you told me, but we didn't talk since you told me, and you've been telling me all year, so... Oh, but, dog, we about to do this again, because yeah, yeah. Well, this is like a five-hour-long interview if you really go do it right, so we yeah. want to have you back home, man. Where can the people go find you at, man? On, on my website, Low Profile Records, on my Instagram, Low Profile Records. You know, all one word. Yeah, well, we got some shit we're going to be doing. We talk about that, man. And then I got the Fat Wonka. Cause we start our podcast, we're gonna set, we're turning all our Fat Wonka edibles into CBD. So Fat Wonka is an edible. Yeah. Did you bring some samples with you? I'm telling you, man, I don't wake up this early. <laughs> you know, this you is know, black folks' time. You know, I can't. You know, right? <laughs> <laughs> He's racist. As a motherfucker. Huh? <laughs> no, I don't know this motherfucker for a long time. One thing you can't say about this motherfucker is he ain't racist. He's my own. Not racist. I'm mad at everybody. All right. Motherfucker don't like nobody. We need an intermission. <laughs> you know, hey, before we go, man. Check this guy for knives and guns, man. This guy. You're the first dude I ever say, though, man. You, so you was in the green school, a lot of shit that Trump was doing, talking about, right? And job wise, not as mouth. I'm the first one to make the fuck Donald Trump, my sputo shirts. But his job wise, as making business, common sense. You know what I mean? I like common sense. He's an idiot, but common sense, meaning, I mean, this Biden's a fucking joke, man. You yeah, know what I mean? Start, I'm starting to see this shit, right. but shit. Already starting the war on me. Oil independence, taking away our oil independence. We're gonna, now we're gonna be killing. Uh, this dude's family and <laughs> oh, oh, he races in the That's right. I'm just fucking with you. <laughs> what are you on me? Pakistani. Well, not Pakistani. He's a past Pakistani and, and go to Iran to fight for oil again. You know, all these fucking dumb electric cars, okay? Mm -hmm. You know what you need to run electric cars? Oil. So, all us making oil so small, pretty soon everyone's going to have an electric car and be like, oil's 10,000 a gallon. So now you're gonna be paying for all, every part is oil, homie. Even when you put the battery thing, that's oil on top to, so it don't burn up. That's and crazy. where are we gonna put these batteries at? I don't know, Royal crazy the motherfucker, man. We gonna have to shut this shit down. <laughs> <laughs> <'Cause>, um, <laughs> I just like common sense. Yeah, that's getting so, into that one. Yeah, man. you know, and it, man, we'd like to thank you guys, man, for ch checking in with us, man, and the homie royalty. We for sure gonna have them back again, man. Make sure you subscribe to our um, Instagram page, follow us at the Gangsta Chronicles Podcast.com. Follow my boy MC Yade at 808. 808. Yeah. Um, Damn my it. My boy Big James, Big J388. No, no. She should have asked me what, what's my. Tell them what, 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 what it is. 3636. 36. You just 36. put kill them all. That's what we Kill them all. I, I can do that too. <laughs> Fuck it. I got here to do it in the back. Especially all you wrong motherfuckers out there just I taking mean, brothers' man. money. Man, y'all lucky I didn't know you motherfuckers back then in the days because I would have came at you. And don't beat up Lonzo on the line right now. Oh, no. Lonzo, my buddy. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to get Lonzo in here and grill his ass a little bit. He ain't going to get him here and grill his ass a little bit.
you get freedom because other than that, other than him robbing niggas back in the day, you're a cool nigga. <laughs> 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 That's <laughs> fucked up. And let him defend himself. Big Steel. Steel said, yeah, you're gonna fuck with robbing niggas back in the day, so you know we gonna give you a chance to crack your I like, I love, nigga, keep it hood. Fuck it. But shit, we got it in this motherfucker. Peace. Oh, man.